Hey, it's me again, and it is Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, and it's October 3rd, 2017. Uh, welcome back to the crypto update. Bitcoin's looking okay, just above uh, 4,300. And uh, technically, it's down two and a half points from this time yesterday, but yesterday we were booming and going over 4,400 late in the day after 9 p.m. Uh, we're looking actually to shoot to the moon but it adjusted somewhere late at night probably 1 a.m. Uh, and all night long it hasn't done much of anything it did dip down to 42.17 at the, at, at the 24 hour low and that came in around 9 o'clock this morning I don't know, people woke up in America and uh, sold, sold a little bit of Bitcoin. And, but it, uh, people like that price of 42 so uh, it came right back up to 4300 And really hasn't done much. It's gone horizontal and uh, staying just above 4300 People ask me why I don't use another certain website and it's just I started the crypto update um, with uh, crypto compare and I know it has its uh, little faults and glitches and stuff but uh, it's just what I got used to and I like the big graphs that take up like the whole screen pretty much um, because it's just easier to see on the video uh, it's just what I got used to and what I stuck with I've thought about going over to the other one. I don't want to name any websites. Uh, Ethereum's at 292 and down two points. This morning I bought a little bit more Ethereum, and I'm and I'm holding true to my uh, my uh, motto, just not to sell Ethereum. I've never, I've never sold not even a tiny piece of Ethereum. If I had a couple extra dollars, I stuck it in Ethereum and let it ride, and it has worked for me. I bought into this coin way low, just kind of, you know, you, there's times when you want to trade, uh, but nothing's looking right, and you just kind of click on something and stick a... And instead of sticking a little more in Bitcoin like I usually do, I just one day stuck it in Ethereum and the next day it exploded and I was like, yeah, I like this coin. <laughs> and uh, I just had good luck with it and that's all there is to it. Um, and speaking of websites, um, a friend of mine is having trouble with an exchange, and I feel bad because I'm the, I'm the guy that recommended that certain exchange. And he's not the only one, and it's not Coinbase that, who everybody complains about, but I, I still like Coinbase. I like the simplicity of it. Just doing the basics. If you, Coinbase is the place to go, if you ask me. But when you graduate and you want to you wanna get into trading more coins and seeing what you can do and seeing what this one does and uh, Coinbase is limited so you need at least one more um, I'm down to two exchanges now and it's Coinbase and uh, Bittrex and and I love this system I mean I can do anything I want to do and so my friend who's having trouble with a certain one, a popular one, uh, he's not the only one. For the past six months, a lot of people have been having trouble with it, especially people in America. And, uh, should I name the exchange? Uh, I'm not going to do it, uh, but I did recommend a certain exchange that I think would work. Uh, for anyone having trouble with other exchanges, uh, Bit Bitrex rocks, man. It really does. Uh, 
be careful with it when you first start. And, but once you get used to it and, and figure out how everything works, uh, uh, you'll be comfortable and happy. And it's very fast compared to some other exchanges. But uh, there's my plug. Pretty tracks it. would be nice to, you to throw me a Bitcoin or two for that. It would be very nice. <coughs> uh, Litecoin is sitting at $52 and down 2.73%. Um, same story. It's, it's tanked a little bit starting late at night. Well, first it went out and uh, it started tanking about 1 a.m. And then went horizontal. Today's low is 51.23 and today's High is 53.58. Let's go see the rest of these. Haven't had time to read the crypto news today, but I will get to it. We could probably go over and check it out together. Sometimes you have to dig around. You have to get your crypto news and like pieces here and pieces there and read the post on Steam see what people are saying on LinkedIn and different social networks and you know you just gotta have to kind of piece together but you have to be careful because there is FUD and fake news out there Bitcoin Cash is back up in fifth place uh, and down 4.28% sitting at exactly $400.70 Neo has kept its position in volume, not by much. Uh, they could be knocked out in any minute by Litecoin. But currently, Neo is above Litecoin in volume and sitting in third place in volume. They are down, Neo is down 7.88%. So first, second, and third, the top three big dogs in volume would be Bitcoin, Ethereum, and NEO. Fourth, fifth, and sixth would be Litecoin, Bitcoin, Cash, and Omise Go. Seventh, eighth, and ninth would be Monero, Zcash, and IOTA. And coming in tenth would be Dash. Um, and 11th honorable mention would be Ripple. Biggest gainer today. It didn't gain much. Um, 0.1% and that's Omise Go. Sitting at a healthy $9.11. That's a steal, folks. That is a steal if you ask me. A lot going on with this token. It will be an official coin by the end of the year. Nobody knows the exact date right now, but it will be by the end of the year. Uh, biggest tanker of the day is Neo, losing 7.8%. So not a whole lot going on. Uh, a lot of people in the red, but it's just by two or three points. <coughs> a lot of people, a lot of coins. I just gotta use my uh, weird little system to find the buy line. The buy line's always changing, so you have to. You have to keep updating it every day and make sure it's at where it's want to be. Bitcoin has not been able to go above 4400 in quite some time now. Um, if you don't know the system I'm using, um, it's my own developed away and we're just looking at the last 10 days this is a 14 day chart so we're cutting out the first four days so 
So disregard this for right now. No, no worry about that. Uh, the floor that um, that Bitcoin just won't go below is. I don't see now. I screwed all this up. It's thirty-eight hundred. Okay. It's hard to draw with a mouse. Right, whatever. And the ceiling that Bitcoin won't go above is 4400 We can disregard this because it's about to be toast in a couple hours. And we'll be dealing with what's over on the right. So technically, don't sweat that. The middle line would be 4100 and that would be the buy line. So if Bitcoin goes below 4100 um, that would be the time to buy. But wait until it settles down. So if it did, you know, if it did something like this, and um, you'd probably want to buy it right about, right about there. You get the best price. You don't want to buy in as soon as it goes below the buy line. You gotta wait and see what it's gonna do. And usually when it gets back above that buy line, uh, you're good to go and it's gonna go straight to the moon. And you're gonna get rich because you were smart and you listened to my system. Yeah, all oh, that's bullshit, but uh, you get the idea. The byline is 4100. Um, it's been above, it's been well above 4100 since. That little mishap back on September 29th. Was above it for a couple days actually just a day maybe a day and a half um, but then came back down and that was a great 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 buy opportunity right there and I know that's all you know hindsight but anybody got in there I think he made a superb decision yeah that's it for the crypto update um if you guys want to check anything out go see where the markets are uh, it's a live market Bitfinex, Bitstamp and uh, Coinbase are 1, 2 and 3 in trades number of trades GDEX is Coinbase Bitrex is a website I, the exchange I recommend for anyone graduating to uh, and I have every coin you could have. They have way more coins than you'll ever need. I don't know the exact number, but it's <laughs> it's a lot. Japanese yen is still uh, was at 54% of the market. Uh, U.S. dollars almost 30% of the market. 
and the South Korean won the won the won sorry I have sinus issues that's the South Korean won <laughs> that's a 8.43% of the mark Here's the live trades. <coughs> Let me just look at this top one. You can see where the last trade was. And how much it was. That's just somebody buying something. This one's... That was somebody buying one whole Bitcoin there. These really tiny ones, it's just somebody buying a pretzel or a Coke or something. And that guy just stuck in a hundred dollars. And Coinbase charged them four dollars to put in a hundred dollars. So they only actually put in ninety six dollars and one cents. If it turns red, somebody's yeah, selling. If it turns green, somebody's buying. Cracking. Somebody just sold 2,300. Where the hell did it go? There it is. 303. Moves quick. Lots of, lots of uh, volume tonight. Get a big one, man. Let's, I want to see a hundred thousand dollar trader. Doesn't happen much anymore. She says a lot of little stuff. That's a pretty big one on Coinbase. You know, Twenty five hundred dollars. Alright, I'm sorry if I bored you. Peace, everybody.